Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today's video, I'm gonna do something slightly different from normal videos. I'm gonna speak English for the entire video, which I have never done this before, and I pretty nervous now. Um, but I think it's the time for me to try a new thing. So I decided I decided to uh, create a makeup tutorial in English. I know it's gonna be hard and. I'll get a lot of mistakes, but I just want to do it. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So if you guys want to know how I created this look, just keep on watching. So before I start my makeup, I just want to share with you guys about my skin's condition. My skin is uh, pretty dry and it's like super, super dry. Um, and it tends to get cakey easily. So I have to put moisturizer uh, before I put any powder or foundation on my skin. Um, and I'm gonna use this um, the body shop strawberry lip butter to um, give my lips some moisturizer for my skin I'm gonna use this uh, moisturizer from Dr. Jet Blast um, this is called uh, Sisa Pear the Margarine Solution if I correct pronounce correctly um, I'm gonna take a small amount and apply on my face evenly next day I'm gonna use this setting spray from MAC this is called a Fing Fix Plus Pink Light um, this product has a bit of shimmery pinkish shimmery in it so you can use this uh, before makeup as the primer to prep your skin and after makeup as a setting spray to help your makeup last longer because I wanted to do something natural looking for this look and it's kind of everyday makeup look so I am not going to use a lot of product so I'm going to skip the primer um, next one I'm going to use this cushion from IOPE um, the color I have right here is 21C um, I love this product so much because it has a very natural finish looking and got a li little bit of the dewiness in it and um, I, th but I think this product is more suitable for the dry skin same like mine um, those with the oily skin I think you guys should consider before you using this product it may cause your skin look like more oily um, I just used one thin layer on my skin and um, this product has a very sheer finish, as you guys can see. Uh, it's definitely beautiful, but um, it's not like something full coverage. So if you guys want more some coverage, you guys can just add on some more layers. Um, but I think for me, it's okay now. And I think I'm going to use some concealer to conceal some those areas. I have acne, and pimples, and uneven skin tone. And the rest, I will keep it simple and natural. Because I don't want to look um, too much foundation or too much powder on my skin. The next product I'm gonna use is this pencil concealer from NYX. This is Wonder Pencil in light clear. I'm gonna use this one to brighten my under eye a little bit. To cover the pimples, I'm gonna use this um, concealer from Maybelline. This is Fit Me in um, color 15 Fair. Fair. I'm gonna put some on my chin. I'm gonna use my finger, ring finger, to blend it out. I will need some powder to set my under eye and the T-zone area so I'm gonna use this powder from Fenty Beauty this is Profuda in Butter this packaging is like so beautiful I love it so much take, take the excess powder Next 
I'm gonna use this eyebrow powder. This is from Heavy Rotation. Um, this is optional. You can choose to do it or not. But I'm gonna do it because I want my nose to look higher and smaller. So I'm gonna definitely need some control for my nose. I'm gonna use the same powder for my eyebrow. I'm gonna mix these three colors. I like to use the powder for my eyebrow whenever I want to achieve the natural looking and I don't want it to be too harsh so powder is the bad choice for me As you guys can see, I still have some gaps here so I'm gonna use this pencil, this is from Shuemura um, number 9 I guess Numbers. Ah, this, this is the walnut brown. This is number seven. I'm gonna use it to um, fill in the gaps. I kind of like my eyebrows hair matching color with my hair, so I'm gonna use the mascara for eyebrow. This is from Innisfree in brow color. I think this is um, honey brow, I think, I guess. So we are done with the eyebrows. So moving on to the eyes. I'm gonna use these two uh, eyeshadow from ColourPop. The first one I'm gonna use is uh, this color. Uh, it's a shimmery golden kind of color. It's very cute. I'm gonna use this finger to apply on my eyelid. Next one, I'm gonna use this brow color with the small brush to put it on the end of my eyes I'm gonna draw my eyeliner with the liquid eyebrow, liquid eyeliner pen. I'm curling my eyelashes with the shishido curler this mascara is one of my holy grail and this is very good this is from dolly wink i think they have two colors but i like the blue one Next I'm gonna use this product from L'Oreal Paris. Um, this is in the color Lily Blossomed. This product can be used as the cheek blush or lipstick. So this is a two-in-one product. It's very convenient. And I really love this color because it's very cute. For the lips, um, I'm thinking of using some toned down uh, neutral color. So I think I'm gonna use this uh, lip cream from Lo from Kat Von D. This is the Lolita. I'm gonna put this on my lips.
I'm gonna mix some um, this color from Color Pop. This is Echo Park. Oh, I think we forgot some highlighter. So I'm gonna put some highlight on my cheekbones in my nose. This is from Too Faced. Um, this color is the Champagne Truffle. Okay, and this is the final look. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to know, and I'll see you guys in the next time. Bye. I dream in